there is somebody who's trying to make you out to be cold, cruel, calculated, and just a, a contentious individual. They don't want to take accountability for anything that they have done to ruin this connection. They blew it. And now they're kind of feeling salty about it. They, uh, they feel you moving on. If you feel this person is still pulling on your energy low key, like you're over it. You know that this person is not gonna change. This person is a covert narcissist. Those are the ones that trick you and make it seem like they're so sweet. They're just like a sweet angel. But no, this person is a fallen angel. This person is straight up a demon. And um, you know, you weren't you weren't really on demon time. That's not something that you're interested in. You don't want to fight, you don't get off on arguing. You got tired of trying to prove your point over and over and over again. At some point, it gets tiring. It's exhausting. Constantly trying to prove yourself. And then whoever this narcissist was, they would constantly gaslight you into making you second guess yourself. You're like, well, maybe, like, did, did they say that? Like... Bro, when you are dealing with somebody that makes you question reality like that because they are so convincing when they lie, it's best to run as far in the other direction as you possibly can. And that is what you're trying to do. But it's like, they don't want to treat you right, but they're afraid of seeing you with somebody else. They sense... Or maybe they directly know. Maybe somebody came up and told them, hey, look, uh, y'all not together no more because I'm trying to shoot my shot. There is some type of third party involvement and in whoever this ex, ex friend, this, this person who's just like no longer in your life, they don't deserve to be in your life anymore. So they're not. Um, whoever that they've been talking to, uh, this person, Third party is trying to shoot their shot at you. I'm telling you this right now. They don't want to pass up this once in a lifetime chance. They saw that the person that you're dealing with done, done messed up. And now they want to step up to the plate and show you what it's really like to be with somebody who puts your needs and your desires first. Somebody that doesn't put you in second place or treat you like an option the ex the narcissist they're not happy about this they are not happy about this they are actually pissed right now that whoever this third party is actually has the audacity to want to come towards you right now don't be surprised if you get an email phone call text message or dm from a particular individual who has been keeping their eye on you this is somebody that has been checking you out and now they feel as though it's the perfect opportunity. This ex, this person you was dealing with, they fumbled and, and this third party, they ready to catch the rebound. Let's get it. Yo, oh my God. It really do be like that though. It really do be, they don't want you. You know what's crazy to me? They don't want you. Because if they wanted you, they would treat you right. If they wanted you, they would give you the treatment that you asked and begged for for the entirety of the relationship. You just wanted to be respected. I see, um, Collective, you're big on respect, as you should be. Um, you have been disrespected time and time again, countless, numerous occasions in the past by friends, family members. Um, if this goes back to all the way to in school. People thought that they could uh, bully you. And now you as an adult, you do, you do not want to be bullied anymore, okay? It's childish. And you're, you're not trying to be in anybody's like childish, gaslighting, lying, manipulative, playing games type energy. They don't want you. Because if they wanted you, they would, they would treat you right. But they don't want to see you with anyone else. That's how much of a, a, a narcissist and a and and a ego egomaniac this person is. They don't want to see you with anybody else because they don't want to feel like 
they missed out on something. But it's crazy to me. So then just treat the person right. But I'm thinking logically. There is no logic when it comes to dealing with a narcissist, covert or otherwise. But I'm seeing that this particular person that was in your energy and is trying to pull on your energy now is the biggest covert narcissist. This is the most insidious kind. This is the most dangerous kind because they have everybody in their life fooled. And you are the only one to see that mask slip off because they're very careful. They, they even go out of their way to not spend a lot of time. They don't spend a lot of extended time with the people in their circle, um, even family members, okay? Um, you know, they'll go out of town, see family members. They'll stay in their own hotel. Like, they'll, they'll make their own accommodations. Um, they don't stay too long for the after parties um, at, at different mixers and events uh, or, or, or um, friendly gatherings. They know that they can only keep that mask on but for so long. But... They thought that they challenged themselves a little bit. They jumped the gun. They, they, they thought that maybe they could fool you for long enough where you would end up just completely falling for their manipulative games over and over and over again for eternity, which is just not logical because you cannot keep up. I don't care how good an actor you are. You cannot keep up that act forever. If you are... Um, just like uh, this uh, sociopath or like um, you have these narcissistic tendencies, you know, that that's going to come out eventually. It doesn't matter how much you try to cover it up. Um, it, it's crazy to me that they try to cover it up instead of being a good person. But, you know, again, that's these people, they do not think logically. OK, these, this personality disorder or this. Some people think narcissism and, and all these personality disorders, some people think feel as though they're demonic okay like these are these people are literally i don't want to use the word possessed because that's more like a horror movie hollywood glamorized uh explanation of it but they they literally feel as though they are being influenced by an entity or an energy of a very low vibration um that only uh thrives on negativity and the sorrow of others um that that is why the narcissist often and ends up um enjoying or getting off on seeing you struggling and suffering you might have even told this person or confided within this narcissist um that you were struggling or suffering um at some point in time when you were in communication with them and you know they may have tried to you know make it seem like they're sympathetic or empathetic um narcissists they can have sympathy but they have no empathy that's the difference um but secretly inside, and this is sick, I'm just, but like, this is just the truth. They enjoy seeing you suffering. Um, that That's crazy to me um, because even my worst enemy, like eventually I'm not gonna enjoy you seeing you suffering. Like, you know, it, it, it wouldn't call, even if you deserved it, like it, after a while it would be like, okay, like, you know, now I, now I feel bad. This person does not feel bad about anything that they do. They don't take accountability for anything that they do. Cause if they took accountability, that would be like some kind of like self-reflect, that would be a self-reflection. They don't know what that is. That is not in their vocabulary. It's not a part of their vernacular. They don't know what self-reflection is. They don't know what accountability means. Like they don't, they don't even think about it. Um, it being an option uh, for them to do in order to kind of repair the damage that they have caused to the people around them, the relationships that they have been in. Um, they, they crumble, they fall apart. They're fractured and fragmented from the very beginning because they came into the relationship with ulterior motives. They did not come into the relationship with good intentions. So it was doomed from the start, but they pride themselves. These narcissists, these personality disorders, whoever this person was in the past, they pride themselves on being able to trick and manipulate and get people to believe their lies. That's what they live for. That's what, that's the only thing that makes them feel alive. Because these people, they are dead inside. Want some zombie shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, real shit. It, it really do be like that. <clears throat> and these people, they, 
they prey on the empathetic. They prey on people with good hearts and good souls. The people who continuously get shitted on like time and time again. It's, it's just crazy to me that these people really seek out, you know, my collective. And it's like you keep meeting these same types of people over and over and over again. You keep meeting these these same types of people. Um, but spirit is saying now that you have kind of like um, now that you know your worth, you're not tolerating anything less than desirable treatment from the people that you let into your life, whether that's a uh, romantic or otherwise. OK, this goes for platonic. You're not taking any bullshit from coworkers, family, friends. You don't care who it is. Strangers on the street. You have your boundaries way up. And it's because of that that good people are now going to be attracted to you. Now, if you don't want to deal with nobody, you don't want to, you're like, you know what? I don't even want to try to make friends anymore. I don't want to try to be in a relationship anymore because I have been burned so many times. That's okay too. That's your prerogative, okay? Um, but just know that the more you put your boundaries up and the more you self-improve and the more you put yourself first, then good people will come towards you. And if a bad person comes towards you, guess what? Now you got that discernment. Now you're a pro. Now you are a pro at putting those boundaries up and these people aren't going to get close to you in the first place, okay? 